YouTube is a huge platform and sometimes we get overwhelmed by the idea that there are millions of people creating and uploading each day. In fact, there are 37 million YouTube channels out there and last year alone, it grew 23%. Not to mention there are 500 hours of video uploaded every minute. I say to people all the time, you need to start a YouTube channel or you are missing out if you've not started your channel yet. Usually the answer I get in return is I have no idea what type of channel I would even create. Well, in this video, I want to share with you my channel ideas that in my opinion will do well this year. There are many of you out there that have come to me and said, oh, I don't know what to do on my channel. There, I, like if I start a channel, what the heck would I even do? So I am creating this video because I know there's a lot of you that out there are struggling with figuring out niches and figuring out channel ideas in general. And there's a few people that have reached out to me because of that. There are a few things that you need to do in order to figure out what you want to do for your channel. I want to share my tips and advice on, you know, the process that I give to people that come to me and they're not sure what to do. I'm going to share those tips first, and then I'm going to give you some channel ideas and even better, some niches within those channel ideas that are going to do well this year. First of all, how do you figure out what you would like to do? Expertise. Let's talk about that. Now there's a lot of people out there that do things for many years and they don't realize that they're actually an expert in it. For example, I'm a videographer. I have been filming weddings, events, birthdays, and all in between and I've really over the years figured out you know the different things that I need to do to film from a different angle you know the sound that I need to do for a wedding or the sound for an event so I've been really working hard over the past five years on videography so I could potentially set up a channel specifically for video and talk about all the ins and outs of that I could also talk about small business stuff I've been working on my business for years and I know there's a lot of details that people don't even think about when they start a small business. Another way is passion. What are you passionate about? What do you enjoy a lot? Maybe you're a skateboarder and you love skateboarding. What, what could you do for a channel? Or maybe you enjoy gaming so much that you just want to start a channel and do it for fun. What are you passionate about? If you're passionate about something, nine times out of 10, the channel is going to do well over time if you stick with it. The third way is you can explore. If you have no idea what you want to do, you need to explore ideas. You need to write out ideas that you think that you could do for your channel. Many times, if you're a business owner or a coach of some sort, you pretty much know the channel that you should start. But for those who are using this to start something for themselves or just decide to start a channel, it's a little harder. My advice is pick three ideas and start sharing on your channel. For me, I decided to share mom tips, business help, and social media advice. Out of the three, I decided to go with social media route and I was way more connected to YouTube help. Many times you just need to explore and get into ideas and start because that's just the best way to know what you want to do. You've said to yourself, okay, so I've looked at all the first three steps and I, I'm just still not really sure what route I want to go with my channel. I'm gonna give you some channel ideas right now that are potentially gonna do well this year and that I can see that there's gonna be a need for them. Comment below if you struggled with figuring out your channel direction in the beginning or how you figured your channel out. How did you decide on the specific channel that you're going with right now? Okay, so the first one is mom lifestyle channels. Now mom channels will always do well and every single year a new mom channel pops up in the woodworks, out of the woodworks and we're just, we just get so entangled and excited about it. But here are some niche ideas within mom channels because I know there's a ton out there and how do you stand out from the crowd? You could do new mom fitness channels. These always do well. New moms sharing basic tips from breastfeeding versus formula to potty training. This would be a step-by-step -step guide channel for new moms. Moms sharing tips with frugal living or budgeting for young moms. Number two, health and wellness channels. Another huge one that each year there comes a new time of the year and we're all like, let's do this. Let's get healthy. Uh, I know I do the same thing all the time, but there are a ton of channels out there that are talking about health and wellness. So here are some niche ideas for you. Some top channels here is healthy living for those who are busy, meditation for young female teens, healthy lifestyle tips for college students on a budget, fitness for busy men and women. Now a few of these you can narrow down a little bit more. These are just some ideas that I've done a little research on and I think that they would do really well this year. Anything that fits into busy lifestyles is going to do well. You just need to find the missing piece that is not necessarily talked about a lot. So that's when you come to this niche, it's huge. There's a lot of people in it, but find the missing connection there. What do people need more of? Number three is minimalist channels and another huge one that has been growing over the past few years. I know there's quite a few channels that took off last year just from, you know, everything that went on. Minimalism is a huge movement and it's becoming something that we want more of as a society. We want less things we want to have less stress so here are a few of my ideas within this beginner's guide to simple living 
simple living for those who are trying to cut out the stress, minimalist tips for young teens. And I think young teens get missed over so much. I think a channel that directly focuses on this is going to be amazing. And minimalism for moms. Again, another channel that is probably huge, but I think there's always room for more people and more channels to be in this. There are a lot of channels out there, but I feel like these ones could be talked about more. Number four is finance channels. Finance channels are huge, and I think there's a lot of people talking about this, but I think there's a few things that were missing in this category that I want to share with you. Here are some of my ideas. Teaching teens to understand how to budget and save for the future. Another one is newly married couples understand how to create a future. So how do they do it? This is another great opportunity for a new married couple to start reaching into finances and talking about that. Advice on living a debt-free life or working towards a debt-free lifestyle. And finally, mindset with money. Overall, you need to have a, a positive mindset when it comes to money. So maybe understanding how to even do this. For the next few years, I believe the younger generation is gonna need a little help here. So that's why I shared these niche ideas. Honestly, there's probably lots of people talking about finances, but how can you figure out a, a category that is not talked about as much? Number five is homeschooling channels. If we've learned anything, things can change in an instant. And from this past year, we've learned that homeschooling channels are a huge need. Not only that, crafting channels, that's something that's taking off even more this year. But here are some of my ideas within this category. Simple crafts for kindergartners. Honestly, this is going to be a huge one and it still continues to be a huge one for many parents. Beginner budget friendly craft ideas. So a channel that combines frugal living and just crafts is going to be another hit because again a lot of families are tight right now and they need just some budget friendly ideas a to z on homeschooling for beginners again probably a lot out there to do that but i think this is going to be a big need no matter what and then productive homeschooling channels number six is passive income passive income has become huge over the past few years and for me i've been looking into this a lot more and i know there's a lot of small youtubers small creators and creators beyond that even that are looking into passive income. I see TikTok all the time talking about this. You'll see um, passive income this, passive income that. Here are some of my ideas. Passive income for beginners. There are probably a ton of channels out there that talk about this, but a lot of people search for this and are searching more and more for it. Another one is passive income for young teens. Again, I put in young teens because I feel like the young teens get brushed over so much. So passive income for young teenagers. The next one is vlog channels sharing passive income experience. Maybe you're actually into the passive income world. Maybe you should start doing a passive income vlog channel where you share pe with people your journey, your experience, and actually go through the ups and downs of it all. Number seven is online business channels. So many brick and mortar businesses have switched from being a brick and mortar business to having to go online. So this is a huge trend that's going to be working its way in in the next couple of years. There are many out there that need help with this aspect and I know quite a few people within my community are actually helping you know people that have a brick and mortar get set up online so they're not left behind and they're not you know closing down or going bankrupt because they can't afford to host in the, the brick and mortar. Now they're working on online stuff so that they can actually keep going throughout this crazy world and keep their business going strong. Here are some of my ideas. Brick and mortar to online channels. Basics of starting an online business, you know, the step-by-step -step A to Z kind of thing, where you share your tips and tricks on how you can do it um, effectively. Young entrepreneurs, tips and tricks. Another one, again, young teens, young, young people need help with building and giving them advice and connection with people that are actually in, in this right now. And then finally, coaching businesses to help them start their online business. Number eight is study and school channels. Again, this one is always needed. Every single year people come around, you know, to start a new generation starts into school or you're going to college. Every single year we need videos on this. Here are some of my ideas. Productive school tips for young students. Again, this one always does well every single year. Young moms studying and balancing home life. Advice for college students on how to study. Again, another huge one that does really well every single year. And then finally, best practices to study when you are in high school. Yes, it's great to watch old YouTubers, but we need people that are fresh content, fresh people, fresh generation to talk about schooling tips because each year it changes slightly. Number nine is mindfulness channels. Another great opportunity for you to stand out this year and just take off. There's going to be a huge amount of people 
uh, struggling with anxiety, depression, you know, all of that that goes into that because now people are losing jobs. Now people are not, you know, able to go outside. So we need more of those channels to help keep people having a positive mindset, getting out of a rut. And so here are some of my ideas for this. Meditation channels. These are very important and always will be important to help people relax and just find a state of calm and relaxation. Mom mindset channels. Another one that doesn't get touched on enough. Channels directed towards teens. Step-by-step -step guide on how to work on your mind daily. These are just a few ideas, but I will see a huge need and a boost in the years coming. And finally, number 10 is TikTok channels. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean TikTok advice channels because TikTok has taken off in the past couple of years. Any new platform that pops up, talking about this specifically, if you're doing well on that, that platform, talking about this specifically is going to help you a lot. I know a few people that have started a channel basically around TikTok and that are doing really well because they're giving tips and advice that they share daily, that they're doing daily and they're actually practicing on TikTok. So here are some of my ideas within this. TikTok growth hacks, TikTok reaction channels, another big one, TikTok A to Z on how to do them and the growth tips. So you can do a combination of the all ins and outs of TikTok, but incorporate growth hacks, a channel that is directed towards understanding the ins and outs and the behind the scenes of TikToks themselves. All of these are great channel ideas and all of these you could do this year and next year and the year after. You have to look at each industry that you're going into and say, what is missing from this? What can I do that is different from the rest of the world? I have a playlist on the basic YouTube tips and tricks for you so that you can give, get some more ideas on how to grow your channel. And once you start it, now you need to know the basic tips and tricks. And as always, guys, don't forget to create adventure and live to inspire. Have a good one.